Eventually, you're going to ignore everything. We are afraid that if you ignore everything, the world will stop. In the, from the point of view of the mind. But the world will stop, but it will be from the point of view of the heart. A different thing. We think if we stop our involvement with thinking and procrastinating and pushing and uh, manipulating, hmm, then you will get to some point, you will work it out, you are getting there. It's tough, but you are getting there. But you are getting more entangled quite often. Because my feeling is the secret in the life is to be free of this baggage of feeling that you have to work life out. Mm. Mm. I don't think anyone is successful with this attitude. That you have to work it out. The one who finds somehow in each moment comes in each moment fresh. Not harboring some projections about what you intend to do and what you have done before. The excellence of that state. So few enjoy. So few enjoy this most beautiful state of being. It's not even one to call it a state, it's a stateless state. I don't see another option that brings happiness, that reflects happiness. Trying to work it out over so many, I don't know, whatever your theory is, billions of lives. Millions of years, human beings, uh, we can never figure it out. You never can figure it out. Not with your head. Not with your head. Come to the place of that innocent observing, in whose presence all of this passes. In the moment when it's at its fiercest pulsation, the tendency to identify also happens. But even this tendency to identify is also observed in the space of this. That's an acute observation. When that is recognized, one somehow finds oneself in space, as space. Not lost in space, just space. And all these ideas about how you should be and what you could be, they become so distant, not worth your attention, because they are somehow mm, replaced by spaciousness and that quality of effortless presence. And you will not want to go back to that habit. Who can live the life in no mind? The most beautiful. A complete liberation, complete freedom. Your whole life can move like this. Constantly living a life with enormous preparation, which weigh you down, suffocate your dance. I can't tell you, live life with no mind, because you can't do it. Here you discover no mind, the effortlessness of this. If I tell you, live with, with no mind, you're going to try and do it, and the one who is trying to do it cannot do it. The one who will try to do it is also not your pure self. It's got your projection in it, it's got your energy comes from you, belief comes from you. But that one who is searching for this is ultimately not true. 